Did you know that the first space meme came out even before the internet was invented? It was based on cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin's expression, poikali, meaning let's go, that he uttered right before takeoff on the first flight to space. And that's how, with its first manned mission to space, the USSR kicked off the global space race. The USSR was also the first country to reach the moon on an unmanned mission. But it's the US that has dominated space, with its manned mission to the moon and its first mission to Mars. And it remains, by far, the country with the most space and satellite launches not just per year, but also in total. The fall of the Soviet Union in December 1991 drastically changed the arena for the space race and left the US as the dominant space force and was then followed by two decades of cooperation in space between Washington and Moscow. Over the years, China has emerged as the main challenger to US superiority. It's now the third country behind the US and Russia to launch the most objects into space every year. It is also the third largest country to have launched a total number of objects into space. Several other contenders have also entered the race since then, including Japan, the European Space Agency, and India. Pakistan, Turkey, and five other Balkan countries have also made considerable progress in their respective space programs. For instance, Pakistan's Space Commission, the oldest in Asia and operational since 1964, is capable of fabricating rocket engines and launching its own rockets. Islamabad's recent space projects have been conducted with China's assistance. Turkey also unveiled its national space program in 2021, with the aim of establishing a satellite-based independent timing and position system, and producing indigenous rockets for mission launches, along with an ambitious manned mission to the moon slated for this year. North Macedonia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Serbia and Croatia have also partnered up in an initiative to jointly launch the first satellite into space from the Balkan region. Even though space is boundless, humankind's access to it is limited, and wherever there is a lack of abundance, disputes are likely to occur. Space is no different, and an increasing flurry of international space activities has resulted in the crowding of objects in space, especially those sent into orbit. In recent years, China's Tiangong Space Station and the International Space Station have made evasive maneuvers to avoid other satellites or junk in space. The US and China have also been eyeing the same landing spots on the moon, which could lead to cooperation or disputes in the future. Although there have been 12 space stations launched into orbit, there are currently only two stations operating in the Earth's lower orbit. First, there's the International Space Station, which has been in operation since 1998 and involves 13 other countries in a US-Russia-led partnership, but excludes China. But space is not all about exploration and the pursuit of knowledge. Countries' space policies today are driven by geopolitics, just like the Cold War era space race. Since 2011, NASA, the US space agency, has been banned by US Congress from collaborating with China over national security concerns and allegations of human rights violations. The exclusion of China from the ISS has led Beijing to develop its own space station, which, upon completion, will be slightly heavier than Russia's decommissioned Mir, and about 20% of the International Space Station in mass. The US is the first country to have tested and deployed weapons in space. The technologies it had experimented with include direct energy weapons that destroy, damage, or incapacitate targets, both on Earth and in space with highly focused energy as well as ground and orbit-based anti-satellite weapons that are designed to incapacitate or destroy satellites for strategic or tactical purposes. In 2019, the Trump administration created the U.S. Space Force with a dedicated mandate that includes tracking satellites and the estimated 128 million pieces of debris orbiting the Earth. It also involves protecting the U.S. and allied space interests and systems from counterspace threats. But as other countries attempted to deploy weapons into space, the US moved to condemn and block such maneuvers. Although there is a 1967 global treaty that bans the deployment of weapons of mass destruction in space, experts have pointed out that the existing accord does not cover a newer generation of space weapons technology. Meanwhile, the ESA is also developing technology to clean up debris in space. But critics say that the cleanup technology could also be used as a space weapon if it were instructed to target satellites or other space equipment instead of garbage. The US's unilateral call for an end to space weapons testing has been couched over concerns about the space debris that is left behind, 
While countries including the UK, Canada, Japan, Germany, New Zealand, and South Korea have endorsed the US's test ban proposal, other countries have pointed out that it is more to do with Washington's own interests. Rejecting the US plan, China has called the proposal sour grapes and has claimed that it is an attempt by Washington to reaffirm its dominance in outer space. Russia also pointed out that the US pledging to ban ASAT tests was not a gesture of goodwill, since Washington no longer needs to conduct such tests. The US and its ally countries also opposed the Treaty on the Prevention of Placement of Weapons in Outer Space that was promoted by China and Russia earlier in 2014. That proposal had sought to prohibit the placement of any weapons in outer space and to prevent the threat or use of force against space objects. The space race entails the development of technology that can be used to advance civilization and to enhance the exploration of space. China recently announced that it had discovered a new mineral on the moon that looks like a culminar crystal or diamond. The mineral, named Changasite by Beijing, is also said to contain traces of helium-3, an isotope that many scientists have touted as a potential fuel for future fusion reactors. But this discovery typifies the battle to dominate space, and it has sparked concerns in the West about who will acquire a supply of the mineral, as the US and its allies fear that the country is able to monopolize the energy source if the future will dominate global power.